Even though 33-year-old player James Harden might be more than a superstar on the Philadelphia 76ers, there is a rumor swirling around the big return. Keep watching till the end of this video because we are discussing one of the hottest topics. James Harden could possibly return to the Rockets. What are the odds of this statement being true? Let's see. Is it just a rumor? Adrian Morzianowski reported that James Harden might want to return to Houston in the offseason. In a report on Christmas morning, he wrote, All-star guard James Harden is seriously considering a return to the Houston Rockets in free agency this July if he decides against a new deal with the Philadelphia 76ers, sources told ESPN. Harden and his inner circle have been openly weighing Houston in recent weeks and months, sources said. A remarkable possibility given that he requested and received a trade out of the franchise less than two years ago. Despite forcing his way out of the Rockets in January of 2021, Harden has maintained something of a magnetic pull to Houston, drawn to the community, lifestyle, and family there, sources said. Harden might once again try to force his way out of a team, as he did when he moved from Brooklyn to Houston in 2021, then from Brooklyn to Philadelphia in 2022. And entering Christmas, the 76ers were 19-12 and, and in the number 5 spot in the Eastern Conference having won seven straight games since losing to Houston earlier in the month. However, with a veteran-laden roster, whether this season is deemed a success or failure will be based on the 2023 playoffs. Should it go in the wrong direction, it sounds as if Harden pivoting back to the Houston Rockets is very much a possibility. After all, Harden spent nine years in Houston, arguably some of the best years in franchise history. His career up until this point had been defined by his tenure with the Rockets, which resulted in two Western Conference Finals appearances and an MVP award in 2018. While he did request a trade in 2020 after losing in the second round of the playoffs to the eventual champion Los Angeles Lakers, he is still beloved in Houston and calls it home in the offseason. When Harden arrived in Houston ahead of the 2012-2013 season, he immediately transformed into a superstar. He made the All-Star game in each of his eight full seasons in Houston, and he led the league in scoring in three straight seasons from 2017-18 through 2019-20. He also led the league in assists in 2016-17, one year before his MVP campaign. He will be 34 at the beginning of the next season, so eventually he shouldn't be looking for a long-term deal. Houston has the most cap space out of any team in the NBA this summer, and Harden might be the only star who would be willing to sign with the Rockets the league's worst team in the past two seasons. We can all agree that the Rockets' goal next season is not going to be winning a championship, right? With or without Harden. But the team has to perform well. The Rockets are on pace to be better than the top four picks next season after they are likely to grab another high-level talent in the 2023 draft. Bringing Harden in as a veteran to complement Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Jabari Smith, and the rest of the young core could create a team capable of competing for the play-in next season. Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports made it sound as though off-court factors were influencing Harden's reported interest in Houston perhaps even more than the on-court product. By all accounts, the city of Houston and his foothold in the Rockets organization are something Harden missed the moment he left the franchise. It's where he morphed from the sixth man of the year to most valuable player and one of the most recognizable athletes in America. The Rockets were his franchise and Houston was his domain, Fisher reported. Harden's response to the reports. The Philadelphia Inquirer's Keith Pompey described the situation. When he was asked before the game about the report, Harden responded, What report? Harden said he didn't know what the reporter was talking about and became agitated when asked about rumors that he was considering going back to Houston. Why would you ask me about that on Christmas, man? You didn't say Merry Christmas or nothing. You asked me about something that I ain't even... I'm not answering. I didn't see nothing, he said. Later told why the question had to be asked, Harden responded, I'm not talking right now before the game. But after the game, Harden addressed the rumor saying, I'm here. We're playing very well and I don't know where that report came from, but I'm excited to be here and we're playing very well. We are continuing to get better. Harden signed a two-year, $68.6 million contract with the Sixers on July 27th. He has a player option for the 2023-24 season, which enables him to become a free agent this summer. Harden opted out of a $47.4 million player option this summer to resign with the Sixers. He's making $33 million this season. The pay cut he accepted created enough cap space to sign his former teammates and friends, P.J. Tucker, Daniel House Jr., and Montrezl Harrell in free agency. 
Of course, one of the questions he received was about his decision to leave the Nets and land in Philadelphia. Harden responded that he planned on joining Philly even before he went to New York, but things took a different direction in January of 2021. Harden said that Philly was his first choice when he pushed for a trade from the Houston Rockets, and now he finally made it to the city of brotherly love. Originally, when I was going through everything that I was going through in Houston, Philly was my first choice. It just didn't happen. I really don't want to get into the Brooklyn situation. I just knew for a very long time this was the perfect fit. Obviously, you have the best big man in the league in Joel. And obviously the coaching. I'm just happy and blessed that I'm here, as Doc and everybody knows, and everybody wants to win, to be the last team standing, so I'm excited for that opportunity," he said. It was reported that Harden could be dealt to Philadelphia last season in exchange for Ben Simmons, but the Sixers didn't want to split their simmons mb duo. In the end, they had to swap the Australian for Harden. The only difference was that Ben joined the Nets instead of the Rockets. The Sixers landed a good player in Harden. He made them championship candidates again, but many people have concerns about his relationship with Joel Embiid. So far, they kicked things off in a good way. Is he Magic Johnson the second? Doc Rivers actually compared Harden's game to Magic Johnson. The 76ers coach called Harden a scoring Magic Johnson in reference to balancing scoring and facilitation, but even with the context, Harden wanted it made clear he is his own player. I'm James Harden. I'm gonna get on Doc too. But I'm James Harden. Magic Johnson was an unbelievable basketball player, done so many things for this league. But I'm James Harden, he said. Rivers actually said he hated the comparison, but made it anyway. He literally couldn't think of a better way for his player who controls a game by doing it both ways offensively. The days of Harden putting up tiring usage rates bordering on surpassing 40% are over. That tiring task is left to Doncic now. He shrugs his shoulders on the notion of his production from being underappreciated. I don't really care. I don't pay attention. Underrated? Overrated? Doesn't affect me," Harden said. But even as Harden has nestled into this role of being the co-star to Philly's one-man human eclipse, he still admits to yearning for those days when 35-point, 10-assist games were the norm. I would love that, but not as much, if that makes sense. In Houston, I was doing that every single night. It was expected. It's a lot of times I feel like I can have that same impact on games. But you see the bigger picture. I'm just focused on one thing, man. That's all that matters. I wanted to have the chance to win at the highest level. Once I figured we weren't going to be able to do that in Houston, I tried to put myself in a situation to win at the highest level. The ultimate goal for me is a championship," Harden said in an interview. What do you think about James Harden? Do you think the possible return might turn out to be true? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.